Uh, this is my King Quad 500 AXI. Uh, I will show you how I snorkeled it. I couldn't find crap on YouTube and not really good explanation. So I was reading a lot of forums and hopefully I can just help someone out. CVT exhaust intake, air intake, and then CVT intake. So I use two inch ABS piping. ABS is lighter than PVC. You can use PVC, but you don't have to. I'd rather use ABS in this. Uh, 45 degrees out. You can take off the original one. Uh, it's not with me. Uh, the original one just comes straight out. Comes straight out and goes straight up. It's gonna be into the little port over there. It's really easy to remove. You have to move this, or just disconnect kind of like this, remove the top, just remove the railing guard, bolt, bolt, uh, headlights, it's just bolt, tab, uh, bolt that hangs right here, that connects to it. You move that, take off the splash guard, and then move the intake. Uh, 45, two inch. Uh, I put tape filler on the outside, then I'll go over with just a little bit of silicone, not enough to seal it, but just to give it some space uh, to fill in the gaps, and then you tighten it down. 45, probably use about three to four inches, a two inch pipe and then a 45 up, and then probably like seven inches. Elbow, straight piece, probably about five, four inches. Elbow, and then straight out the top. And then for the intake, straight down, elbow, about a down three inch piece, elbow. And then I ran a straight pipe at an angle. You probably can't see it, I'll post a photo at the end. But straight pipe that runs straight up underneath here. It literally went straight up into a 45, then a 22.5. Then I have a male or a female adapter. I can use a two and a half inch hole maker. Pop the hole, uh, put the male adapter on the inside, spun them together, and then siliconed it like crazy. And then I put Bondu. It was held by the opening because the male adapter had the two inch opening. Slapped it in, tightened them. I put uh, clear silicone to fill in all the gaps on the inside and outside. And then I went back over it and I got twin air that's coming in a couple days. And then I slept on Bondo or hard putty. I use this stuff just to hold it a lot stronger. I don't want the vibrations to eventually break anything. And then I went back over it with black silicone. Uh, on the inside, I didn't use any of that stuff. I just put the clear silicone. But here you can see I used the black silicone just to make sure on top of the silicone bondo and then silicone. I just don't want the vibrations to break anything at some point. It was already being held sturdy by the box with the female adapter and the washer. But I just want it to be extra safe. And then for the CVT I used the original boot that came with it. I put on a 45. Uh, this is like a straight cut 45. Tape filler again around here, then I tighten this one. I use a little bar that goes straight. I ran it around and then I put, I forgot what they're called. It's the rubber tightener, but I went from a two inch to one and a half. I know I should probably use a two, but they didn't have two inch holes. I'll probably change it later on. But I have a 500 now, a 750, so I was just taking my chances. But yeah, 1.5 inch holes. I reduced it down. I siliconed it, tightened it on the inside, uh, put a piece so it can hold it, so it doesn't lose its form. But it's also a CVT exhaust. I wouldn't do that for the intake. I wouldn't take the chance, but for the exhaust, I, mean, I didn't really care. I ran it straight up. I still haven't put the splash cords on. I'm gonna go back and put rubbers around so that the zip ties don't break it at some point. I put silicone just to be safe as well on the outside. And then that's also a 22.5. Yeah, 22.5. Reducer to 1.5 and it runs straight out. So they're all two inches. Uh, the yeah, tabs come out, this comes out, headlights kind of come out. I mean, it's pretty simple, you just gotta remove these bolts. And then for here, I just put silicone, seal up the inside, then we'll put a piece of plastic like everybody else did. And then I'll seal the plastic on the outside as well. They said use a twin air intake because this one has a lot of space around, which it does. So I'm gonna get the twin intake and then I'll probably put a little beam of silicone around it just to be safe, uh, make sure nothing gets in. But I'm about done. 
I might make them just a little bit shorter. I don't know, I don't think to be that long. But if you got any questions, I try to help.